Hey guys, in this video, we will be looking on having an enemy in the scene and being able to target them and move towards them. For the enemy, I will be using Dragon, the Soul Eater, and Bore Asset. You can find a download link to the asset in the description below. In Unity, set up the box collider for the enemy dragon. You can use whatever prefab you like, but I decided to choose this one. Here are the values for the box collider. Then, create a new tag called enemy and also add a script to it called targetable. We won't need an update and start method. The only variables we need are a public enum called enemy type, named as enemy or minion, and a public enemy type that derives from the enum and call it enemy type. Going back into Unity, we'll add the player tag to our player and give it the script called input targeting. In the input targeting script, the variables we need are public game object called selected hero, public bool called hero player, and a raycast hit called hit. In the start method, have the selected hero equal to the find game object tag player. Moving on to the update method, do an input.getMouse button down and an if statement that shoots in physics.raycast which stores the camera.main.screen to point ray, an out hit, and mathf.infinity. Do two more if statements where if the raycast hits something with a targetable script and is not equal to null, and if the game object hits the enemy type minion, the selected hero will get a hero combat script that we will add later on and have its targeted enemy equal to the hit.raycast. In Unity, go to player and create a new script called Hero Combat. Open it up in Visual Studio and have the public game object called Targeted Enemy. Going back to our input targeting script, we'll just do an else if statement that says if the hit.collider is equal to null, the hero's targeted enemy will also equal to null. Going back again to our Hero Combat script, we'll add the remaining variables. Public enum called Hero Attack Type having melee and ranged. Public Hero Attack Type called Hero Attack Type. Public Float named Attack Range public float named rotate speed for attack, private movement script called move script, public bool called attack idle, which is set to false, public bool called is hero alive, and another public bool called perform melee attack, which is set to true. In the start method, have move script equal to get component movement. Following up on the update, have two if statements where if targeted enemy is not equal to null, if vector 3.distance game object .transform position targeted enemy dot transform the position is greater than their attack range, then we'll have the player move towards the enemy. Before we write it, go to the movement script and where it says nav mesh agent, make it public so other scripts can use it. In the hero combat script, write move script dot agent dot set destination to the targeted enemy position. Also have it so agent dot stopping distance is equal to the attack range. After, I'm just going to copy and paste the rotation bit from the movement script and paste it here, tweaking a few values. When that's done, write an else statement where if hero attack type is equal to hero attack type melee, if the performance melee attack bool is true, it will then attack the minion by running a coroutine. We will leave this line for a future video. In the movement script, we're going to add a few things. We'll add the public hero combat script at the top and call it hero combat script and use get component hero combat in the start method. Now that we have access to the hero combat script in the update method, do if hero combat script the targeted enemy is not equal to null. Check again if the hero is alive, the targeted enemy will equal to null. Going down a bit more, do another if statement where if the hit.collider.tag is equal to the floor, move all this code inside, as well as setting the hero combat the targeted enemy to null and the agent.stopping distance to zero. I did forget to add something at the top, which was another if statement which checks where if hero combat script dot targeted enemy dot get component hero combat is not equal to null then we check if the hero is alive so just copy and paste the rest of the script and you're pretty much done go back to unity and fill in the values these are the values i have in my inspector copy it as you wish to finish off just have your terrain tag set to floor once i press play you can see that it will move towards the enemy and lock on if i click on them it may be hard to tell but you can see in the inspector that it's targeting the enemy I might add a little indicator in the future to know which target you are locked on, but that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!